Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. I know these are some crazy times and I hope all of you guys are healthy. Please stay inside. Please use your time to help friends and family, especially if they're a little bit older. And all the time that's left, use it to educate yourself by, for example, watching this video. Today we're gonna create a awesome looking 3D text animation in Adobe After Effects. But before we're getting into that, I just want to ask you guys to please like, subscribe and comment. I hate to beg, but this stuff will really help me out a lot in these coming few months because it's going to be really difficult for me as a freelance graphic designer to start up some new projects. Um, so please help me out with that. I would really appreciate it. For now, stay safe and let's get into this tutorial. I'm in Adobe After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna go for a 1080p one, 25 frames per second. And make sure to click on 3D Renderer. And normally it's on Classic 3D, but make sure you check Cinema 4D. Now change the name to Text Composition and press OK. Now let's start by creating a text layer. So type in something you like. What's up everyone? So select the font you like, select a font size you like. And once you're finished, make sure to align it to the center of your composition. We're using the align panel for that. If you don't see this panel, go to window align and it will pop up. So boom, boom, done. Next up, we're gonna turn this into a 3D layer. There we go. And now when we turn it around, you will see it's just flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some thickness, extrusion depth. So change that to 40. And now once we turn it around, you will see it will look weird everything is white there's no shadow but it has some depth to it so let's just create a color for the front and the back so go to animate click on that little arrow go to front color rgb now select a color for the front can be anything you like really and also add a color for the back gonna go for a very dark grayish Maybe a little bit of blue in it okay there we go and now when we turn it around it already looks a lot better so now we can start animating this actually so um, let's just create a keyframe for the Y rotation at the start then go to I don't know let's say eight seconds create another keyframe and Let's make it rotate two times. All right, so now we have this. Looks pretty dope, has that 90s rave kind of vibe to it. I like it, but let's add some light. So right click, new, light. Spot is fine, I guess. Uh, let's just press OK and see what happens. Mm, yeah, that looks a little cheesy. So um, let's just change the cone angle. Should be a lot bigger so we don't get that weird vignetting on the sides. Uh, let's just drag down the cone feather as well. I want this to look subtle so um, maybe change the intensity as well. I think that looks cool. You get this kind of gradient. Yeah, you get this nice glow. I like it. So yeah, you can use these settings I'm using. Of course, you can tweak them your own, whatever works for you. But um, yeah, as you can see, this just took a few minutes and we already have a pretty cool result. Of course, I can imagine you wanna add some effects to this, but for some reason, if you add them to this text layer, uh, you won't see them. So what you have to do is create a new composition 
and let's just call this main and now when you import the text composition you can start adding effects let's see for example if you want to add some rough and edges to it now it works don't know if that's the look you want to go for though but um, it's an option it's an option now another thing I like to do is duplicate this layer so I'm hitting command D and now I'm gonna add an effect called let's see it's under noise and grain it's called fractal noise and it creates this kind of cloud um, as you can see right now it looks like crap but I'm just gonna tweak these settings a little bit um, let's see if we double this yep maybe change the brightness a little bit I know it looks weird right now but um I think we should animate the evolution I think that could look cool so let's just create a keyframe for evolution at the start and also at eight seconds and this is actually maybe 300 maybe start at zero now this is looking really weird but what you have to do is again change the modes so click on toggle switches modes and set this bad boy to soft light so you get this little overlay and now it already looks a lot more interesting I think we should change the opacity a little bit maybe even set it to 50 but I think that's dope let me just render this once again could take up some time all right so this is what we've just created that's pretty much all there is to it of course you might wonder how I did the intro because it looks a little different well the text effect is definitely the same um, but I did add a background I added a VHS overlay to it so it gets that old-school vibe and in the background I created a pattern of my head spinning around and if you're wondering how I created a 3d scan of myself I use this app called Bellus 3d I think it's free on Android and on your iPhone Apple whatever so go check that out um, but yeah I hope this was useful if you have any questions please drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.